wanted to let you guys know, Raj and I are going to talk about a few subjects, especially around master data management. And we were going to talk about uh, yeah. customers, customer 360, um, suppliers 360, yeah. and product 360. Yeah. So guys, join us. We're going to be breaking this up into three parts, and yeah. so we wanted to share that with you. But again, I just wanted to say thank you, man, for, for doing this. Oh, no this. problem at all, guys. Uh, hey, guys. Garney here, hey. and... Hey, we got Project MDM Geek. Yeah, the MDM <laughs> Geek here, guys. How you doing today? Hey, look, we're here at it. Well, you know what? Check it out. We're at the Informatica, Informatica booth. booth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you, Project, really, yeah. you know, we talk about, we're here at Tableau 16. Right. It's a great conference. It's, oh, oh, by the way, guys, conference. sold out, guys, 13,000. <laughs> and oh, by the way, I've been given the data night of last night. Oh, wow. man, yeah, it's yeah, awesome. That awesome. Also, the, they're sold out. They, you know, they sell out. So if you want to come next year, you better buy your tickets early. All right. Thanks. But we talked about. I was talking to several people, and they, and a lot of them come up to me and say, "Hey, Garney, yeah, I, I'm using Tableau. That's mm -hmm. why I'm here at the conference. Right. But what does Informatica do from a mastering point of view uh -huh. for my reports? Because right. you know, I can connect to a lot of things, but yeah. what does master data management really do for me in yeah. reporting? Yeah. So let's take an example of customer. Mm -hmm. I think it's the easiest example I can talk about because it's also one of the major use cases around MDM, right? right, like right. Seventy percent of our, of our customers use our MDM solution just to master custom data, right? Right. right. So customer, good, customer data, guys. Customer data, right? <laughs> it's important because you know Gartner predicts that by 2020, I think. Uh, most of the companies will directly be competing just based off of customer experience. That wow, they okay. Their customers, right? Just a couple of it's years? It's not the price. It's not the price. Even if they're cheaper, it won't matter. Wow. Even if they have a great product, like Apple's product, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> yeah. So it still comes down to the customer service you deliver. They will be competing primarily on that. So customer uh, managing the customer data holistically in, in one single system, so you understand Prosh in a better way, and understand my household, understand the products I purchased, from your company across your line of businesses. I don't care if you have 10 lines of businesses, right? I care you're one company, right? So, so you need to be representing yourself as one company in front of me as a customer. Right? Wow. So I know so, that so I know that several of our customers uh -huh. that use the master data management solution around a what we call the customer domain yep. or party domain. Yes. The, you know, you go into major retailers. Yeah. And let's just go with retail since we're all customers, right? Uh huh. You go into major retailers that they can have an online presence. Absolutely. They can have sometimes they still have a catalog business. Sure. Sometimes they have multiple stores with different branding. Absolutely. In them. Yeah. And uh, what you're saying is. If you are a don't treat me as different pieces of, of, of a different person each when I go to each of bingo, these things. Bingo! Right? right? Yeah. I, sh I should. Yeah. I should be myself in every one of those yeah. stores. I'm versus one single individual person. So when I go to different lines of businesses, you are dealing. You are make your company work that way. Doesn't mean that I should see those as different pieces. For me, you're just one Nostrum. You're just one Hyatt. You're just one whatever company you are. Right? So, so <laughs> how does how does that help? Companies, yeah. you know, why why is mastering a customer like that help them? I mean, we're talking about reporting here at you yeah. know on, on dashboards and things like that. Yeah. What does that do for comp You know, let's say not the technical guys, but the business folks who are doing these reports for consolidating customers. What? Why is that important? It's it's becoming very important day by day as it goes. The reason I think is simple, right? Understanding customer, their purchase journey, where they are, what have they bought so far from us. And what is the next best recommendation I can do for them, right? Uh, it's really, really critical, right? So if you don't ma know me that I bought a shirt and a, and a pan and a need for a tie, right? And if, if you can't tell that Prosh has these products from us and this is the next best product we can offer him, you're not making it relevant for me as a customer, right? So I can easily walk up and buy the tie from someone else. And if you can identify that in real time, that this person, the best, best action for him is to, uh, from, from our side to him, is this particular product we need to send him an offer for, right? That's right. really critical. If they can do that, just imagine how much um, um, the valuable that company is going to become for me because they understand my needs before even I can tell. <laughs> right. That's the, the kind of a fortune teller kind of uh, kind of uh, ability MDM provides them. Uh, you know what's interesting because there was another yeah. use case that I heard, guys, which is really which I thought really hit home for me. Yeah. Well, there was a telco company, uh -huh. and they wanted to know more about their people, and yeah. I, and we asked the question why. Yeah. What they found out through mastering the data is that you know understanding customers they understood the household 
Yes. Think about it. You, yep. you have a family. I have right. a family. I have five lines with one company. You sure. may have two lines or three lines. Yes. You know, things like that. And soon to have four lines when she gets yes. older. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. And so, but who makes the decisions right. in the household for who, what provider? what services, what yeah. accessories, what options are available. Right. Right. You, you know, you probably, I'm assuming you do that. I do that for my family. Yeah. So out of the five lines I have in my house, I make the decisions of what data plan I'm going to have. Right. If I am mm -hmm. disgruntled, yep. wouldn't you like to know that I'm the head <laughs> of the household for that? Okay. So I'm not, you're not just affecting my yeah. one line. Yeah. I influence five lines. Yes. So you would want to know that, hey, I have this, I have that, yeah. you know, these are the options. Yeah. And so when they, my kids come in and ask a question, mm -hmm. they know, hey, yeah. they're not owners of the account, exactly. but they are influenced through the account. Exactly. So that, that household thing you talk about, which you nailed on, right? Household is really, really critical part of that understanding customer part, right? So for different domains, it's different things uh, when it comes to relationships, but for customer, it's really the household you need to understand. Right. It's also the relationship that exists between that household. Is it like me or staying with my wife and my daughter in my house? Or is there someone else in my family? Who else is there? And what are those products which are sold to those individual people in the household, right? Right. And, you, right. and, and that allows you to have that complete view of that household. It's not complete view of customer, it's also complete view of household, right? right, right. And then you know, okay, now Prash has a four-year-old daughter. Right, and he has um, he has a life insurance. His wife has a is is a beneficiary. Now we understand his household better because we crunched all this data coming from different different sources. You know, his wife's information came from this different system here. His, his daughter's information came because we got some third party data come come to us. Now we put it all together into this MDM processing, which does this automatic identification of these relationships. Now we know better about him. Now wait, 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 you said automatic identification yes. of the relationship. Yes. So you can actually say that these are related without actually, well, I mean, let the system figure that out for yes. you. Yes, yeah, why? That's kind of you just imagine, I mean, you have 80 million or 100 million customers. You oh, want to yeah. do that manually? No. no. Uh, no. You want to do some hand coding? No, <laughs> it's not going to work, right? Well, you, need, you need some proven technology which has been used to identify those, first of all, duplication among these records, right? right? And then, use the same technology to also identify the, the relationship that exists between these different entities, whether it's, you know, simple thing as customer, but it's also the relationship between customer to location, where I have shopped, what I have done, you know, where I have, you know, been staying for the last 10 years or whatever. Of course, right? like, the, we travel all the time, so yes. wouldn't it be great that the hotels know about us yeah, and where we're going? I that. You know, I really <laughs> like it when the hotels actually come up and say, oh, yeah. welcome back, right. or they say, thank you for your loyalty, you know, oh, things yeah. like that.